Hey guys, we are going to subtract a fraction from a whole number, okay? So basically, whenever I add or subtract fractions, my denominators need to be the same. Now, if you're saying 7 doesn't have a denominator, it doesn't look like it does, but any number that doesn't look like a fraction, we can turn into a fraction. It's just over a 1, okay? So I could rewrite this as 7 over 1 minus 5 twelfths. Okay, seven and seven over one are the same thing. Okay, we just usually don't write that one because usually we don't need to. Okay, so my denominators need to be the same. Okay, so what number, what's the smallest number one and 12 both go into? Well, 12, right? So <laughs> good news, I don't have to change this fraction. Okay, but I do need to change this one for its denominator to be 12. Okay, so one times what? would give me 12. Well, one times 12, right? You're like, you're breaking this down too small. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> We're going to multiply by 12 on bottom, but I can't just multiply by 12, right? I need to multiply by 12 over 12. Why? Because 12 over 12 simplifies down to one. So I'm just multiplying this by one. It's just a weird looking one, right? <laughs> so I'm changing what the fraction looks like. I'm not changing its actual value though, okay? So when I multiply seven over one by 12 over 12, I get 12 times seven gives me 84. And 12 times one gives me 12, which is what we wanted, right? Sweet. So we are subtracting five twelfths. Okay, hold with me for a second. If you put 84 divided by 12 in your calculator, you're gonna get seven, okay? So it's still seven. All right, now we're going to subtract these. When I subtract fractions, the denominator stays the same, okay? And then I do 84 minus five, which gives me 79, okay? Then we like to um, simplify. Um, your teacher will probably want it as a mixed number, I would guess. So to change it into a mixed number, if you haven't done this a lot, I'll link a video in the corner that explains it in a little more depth. But we see how many times does 12 go into 79? Well, it goes six times, right? Because six times 12 is 72. And then how many are left over? There's seven left over and we are still in twelfths. Okay. So this fraction and this fraction are the same, but a lot of times we like our answers like this. Okay, so 7 minus 5 twelfths gives me 6 and 7 twelfths.